Yeah, you have to say this doesn't really need commentary. It's just so good. It's been at least twice when I've realised I perhaps should have been seeing something, and I'm just absolutely enthralled with this. I, I am transported back to my early teens. This is absolutely why I became a big motorsport and particularly a Formula One. Look, John, if you were, if you obviously you're a big football fan as well, if you watch the match from the 70s, I'm not talking about the 1973 Cup final, but what I am talking about is you go back and the, the crowds would look a certain way, the players were playing a certain way, the equipment was. Oh, he's hit him! He's hit him! And into the wall! No! Werner, right front, damage, right rear damage on Alessi's car. Now, was there a little stumble there from Alessi that caused that? It just seemed maybe there was a cough or a splutter, and unless he goes into the wall with the right rear. Now, is there any damage on the Lotus? Because, uh, right, the... right front wing. Right front wing. Okay, so this something... right front wing, interestingly. So yeah. it must have wiped across from right to left. What we need is the shot coming out of. Let's yes. have a look. Virage, Anthony, no, he the got Lotus a great is good. Exit, uh, Bruce. Well, there's, there's black marks on the road as if Alessi had spun the wheels up. We've already got a puncture, but that's probably from hitting the wall, that was what would suggest. Wall. Well, that's a, that's a strange one. I, I, my first, I have to say my first reaction was that there'd been contact. But having now seen it from behind, I'm not so sure. And what was the black marks behind the Ferrari? There's definitely a wee bit of damage to the nose of, on the right-hand side of the nose of Werner's car. Well, that, I think, was probably in avoidance, trying to, trying to go past it. But I'm just wondering if something broke on Alessi's car to uh, cause it to suddenly stop accelerating. Well, yeah, maybe it a bit. Right. Did he miss a gear or something? Well, quite possibly. Yeah. That's probably the most the likely. Marks the the marks marks yeah. Right where Marco's gone by, by, they've got rid of that car. Oh, no, there it is. Further down. Now, what we didn't quite see was John just waving or gesticulating as he went past. You, the body language, his shoulders are down for Jean. He would have loved to have had a win you know, on a racing return, but to do so here in a Ferrari would have ticked many, many more boxes. But the driver we thought might win this race on pole by nearly two seconds, fought so hard, but could not get past a Lacey until a lap and a half ago. Marco Werner heading for victory. His Lotus a little bit bent, which is that nose going to drop off. Let's have another look. What do you from reckon behind. here, guys? Unless he's going to the wall anyway. Yeah, there's a touch. Yeah, yeah there's a touch. Yeah, definitely a touch. Yeah, good, great work by our replay team. So I, I think but it was the centre of the nose first, which then unloaded the back of the Ferrari, hence the wheel spin and the black marks, yeah, and then the Ferrari wiped across the front of the Lotus. But had the Ferrari slowed because they accelerated out there together? Lap uh, after lap. Yeah. And the Ferrari seemed to get the better of the Lotus once it got out the corner. Yeah. So it's an, it, it is an odd one. Marco's not that type of driver, for sure. And particularly, uh, he was never that type of driver in his career. Well, just, just think about it. I mean, for lap after lap, they've been accelerating flat out out of that corner. There hasn't been anything close to contact. So I, my vote is that something slightly went awry in John Alessi's cockpit, whether he missed a gear or whatever. But for Marco Werner, with one lap to go, suddenly it was presented to him, but it would have been just as easy to be wiped out in the same occasion. Would have, uh, so his avoidance was uh, quite remarkable there. And oh, unfortunately, the no, Surtees has uh, spread debris all over the track. Coming out of Casino Square, running down the hill, and That's radiators exposed, never a good thing in Pierre these cars. Well, now we've got to move for second place. We've got Julian Antler in the march all over the tail of the M26. To the They're getting flags, towards though. the scene of that crime where the Surtees was dropped. They'll get it in one corner's time. There is the yellow flag. Clear, but then there's the debris on the circuit. The M26 oh. clips a bit, fires it up Too in the air. Fast. Red flag, red flag, it's over. I Wind have to back. say, I think that was driving through that incident too quickly there from those guys. The red flag is out. So Marco Werner, it will go back a lap. So what happened to the Surtees? Oh, got the proper old-fashioned tank slapper yeah. coming over the top of the rise. Oh. 
and planted that distinctive nose. Actually, I think it might have gone through the guardrail and spun the car around. Pieces of the car spread across the track and a bit of the nose cone certainly went through onto the other side. Yeah. So yeah. Mark Werner also with damage to the nose, but nowhere near as severe. There was a two hands up off the wheel from Marco there as he was being congratulated by the driver of the second place car, Michael Lyons. Yeah, big mistake there, Piero Lottini dropping the uh, Durex 30s. But uh, well, Marco Werner just kept the pressure on, but uh, I think we're pretty clear between the three of us that uh, something faulted in, in the Ferrari.